Welcome back to FeedHive. In this video, we're going to take a look at variables, how they work, and how we can use them. With FeedHive, you can use variables in your posts, which translate into a given value, which is a piece of text or a link at the time when the post goes live. Let's find the variable tool by navigating to the Compose page. Either you've added this tool to the stage down here, below the editor, or you can find the tool under the Tools tab in the side panel. All variables contain a name and value. The name of the variable will be used to reference the variable while writing the post. When the post goes live, the variable will be substituted with the value of the variable. We can add a variable to the post by clicking Use Variable on the tool itself, or we can simply reference the variable in line but using this syntax. FeedHive supports two different kinds of variables, standard variables and custom variables. Standard variables are variables that FeedHive has inbuilt. Let's go through them. Platform. This variable translates into the platform the post is published to. For example, High Platform will translate to High Twitter when posted on Twitter and High Facebook when posted on Facebook. Account. This variable translates into the name of the account that's posted from. For example, Kind Regards, comma, Account will translate to Kind Regards, comma, Megan Pierce if your name on, for instance, Facebook is Megan Pierce. Workspace. This variable translates into the name of the workspace that the social account belongs to. Of course, this variable is only available in a workspace. First tweet. This is a Twitter-specific variable used to reference the first tweet in a thread. The first tweet variable will turn into an embed of the original tweet in a thread. This variable must be used on posts containing only Twitter as a social provider, and it must not be used in the first tweet since the main tweet can only be referenced from one of its sub-tweets. Finally, we can also add custom variables. These are simply variables that you define yourself in the Variables tool. This is very convenient when you want to reference a link you're using over and over, or you want to use a piece of text in a lot of scheduled posts that you may want to change everywhere from a single place. So, there we have it. You now know how to use variables to create content in an even smarter and more productive way.